Aneurysms behave differently in different parts of the body. The one specifically we're talking about is the, the, the abdominal aortic aneurysms. Um, those do, the, the most feared complications of those is a rupture. And basically what that means is that the bigger the aorta gets, the more likely it is to rupture. And again, we know from natural history studies that they're more likely to rupture at a certain size. And then as they grow, they're more likely to rupture. And so that again kind of ties back into why surveillance and early detection is so important so that you can get established with a vascular surgeon who can monitor this for you and then fix it when it's appropriate. That's what we hope to prevent is, is aortic ruptures and, and uh, aortic ruptures um, usually are, are, are fatal. Think of it as 50% of people uh, will die Im immediately. It'll be a sudden, a sudden death. And then of those 50% who make it to the hospital, even half of those folks who even survive surgery can go on. Um, to die from complications from the aneurysm rupture itself. But that's what's so important about screening and about catching these things early is because um, they can be managed and they can be managed in, in again, minimally invasive techniques um, and it can be truly a life-saving operation. Anything that can image the aorta can, can be used to detect these. That can mean uh, CT scans or CAT scans, MRIs, uh, sometimes plain x-rays um, you, you can see aneurysms. Um, but I think the most common screening tool is the ultrasound. An ultrasound is a test that's non-invasive. You're not injected with any type of contrast or chemical. It's certainly not painful. It's no different than um, a sonogram or, or a, a, a woman who's, who's pregnant getting an ultrasound to, to look at the baby. It's, it's the same type of technology. Basically, um, you come in, you get a probe and some jelly put on your, on your abdomen, and we can see well, how big the aorta is. It, that's important because, again, early screening and detection is what's key. And actually, we've recognized this nationally to be a growing problem, and Medicare has addressed it. Medicare actually has a free screening program as part of the Welcome to Medicare uh, screening. Um, any male um, 65 or older who has smoked more than 100 cigarettes in their life um, is, is, can, can get a free screening with Medicare or anybody who has, a, who has a family history. Yeah, so if you have those risk factors for atherosclerotic disease or heart disease, um, so again, anybody who smoked, whether it be you smoked when you were 18 or you're still an active smoker, anybody who has smoked, anybody who has high cholesterol, high blood pressure, certainly has a family history. Um, those are people who, could, who should kind of be clued into, um, maybe I should get screened for this. And I would say once you start, once you get to the age, middle age, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh decade of life is when you was when these things typically start to to show up again because it takes years for these these types of aneurysms to develop.